Good morning, welcome to Film My Run. We are at the Goodwood Motor Racing Circuit for the Chichester 10K today. Can I go sub 40? Well, let's find out. This is the story of a blagger, a reprehensible thief who is about to commit daylight robbery on the streets of Chichester. I'd only had five days notice that I was running the Chichester 10K and most of the previous week I'd been out of action with a cold or man flu as my wife likes to call it. My marathon training had taken a big hit, as had my confidence. I lined up surrounded by fit, healthy, well-trained athletes who had targeted this race months in advance and done all the necessary work to get here. And I felt like a cheat, a con artist with no right to be on the start line. Right, we've got uh, five minutes to go before the start of the race. Do you know what? I oh. 10Ks, they're just a nightmare. They, they make you so nervous beforehand because you know you've got to work really, really hard. And it's not like a 5K where it's over in a short space of time. It's like double a 5K. It's just, oh. Look, I'm gonna do my best and we'll see what happens. See you in a bit. It's not as though I even like running fast and I've not trained for a 10K. I don't know why I'm here. Right, everybody loves 10Ks, don't they? We love them more than 5Ks because 5Ks are too short and we love them more than marathons because marathons go on for bloody ever. So let's do this thing. To be fair, it was a beautiful day with perfect conditions. And we are off. And Goodwood is my half marathon and marathon PB course. Here we go. Chichester 10K. Let's try and get as near to 40 as we can. It's always important not to get dragged along by the over-enthusiasm at the start. I spent the first kilometre trying to catch the 40-minute pacer up ahead. One kilometre down, 3.57. Goodwood is a wide, open and mostly flat motor racing track. Leaders Matt Leach and Sam Cousins were already way ahead of the field. By two kilometres in, I'd settled in behind the 40-minute pacer with my friend Paul and his son Matthew. At 3.58 for kilometre number two, sticking with Paul and Matthew and the 40-minute pacer up there. I don't usually like to run with a pacer because I don't often trust their ability to pace the run evenly but this guy was doing a great job. 3.58 again, locked in at three kilometers. I was still managing to con myself and everyone else around me into believing I could do this. As we rounded the bend at the end of the first lap and headed out onto the narrower, more enclosed roads, I wondered how long I could maintain the facade. Okay, that's 4K. My watch ticked over a bit early then. 3.54 I got for that, but maybe the GPS isn't quite right. All right, all right, okay. Feels perfect, thanks. Dude. Yeah, we're doing all right. 4K down. If I'm going to run a sub three marathon in Paris, a 40 minute 10K should feel hard, but comfortable. This was anything but. My heart rate was already in zone five. 3.56 for kilometer five. We are halfway. Teaches a 10k. Staying with the 40 pacer. There he is. Still on the road and over halfway in, we ran past Victoria. Come on, Stephen! Kilometre 6, 3.59. Really hurting now, though. <laughs> It was at this point I started to see the 40 minute pacer and some of the other runners edging away. I told Matthew and Paul to go on as I struggled to hold on to the pace. Right, starting to slow down now. Four minutes for that kilometre. That's 7k done. Three to go. I'm done in. The slightly undulating road was exposing my lack of fitness and I continued to fall behind. 
Meanwhile, Matt Leach broke the tape in 29 minutes 52, Sam Cousins grabbed second in just over 30 minutes, and the other sub-elites started pouring into the finish. Okay, 8K done. Two to go, 4.08 for that kilometer. Hopefully squeeze under 41. By now, any thoughts of breaking 40 minutes had been extinguished. I just wanted the end in whatever time I could muster from my increasingly lacklustre legs. Cassie Thorpe won the ladies race in 34.37, quickly followed by Niam Brown and Lauren Hall in second and third. Nine kilometres, 404 for that kilometre. Only now, at nine kilometres in and back on the smooth track, did I look at my watch and think, I've been sick all week, I've done no training, but I might just be able to pull this off. As other clubmates cruised over the line, I left the camera in my pocket and put everything into one final effort. Matthew crossed the line in under 40 minutes, Adam crossed the line, and then me. Well, I don't know if I've done it or not. I tired so much in the last 3K. From 6K to 9K, I was done. But the last K, obviously back on the track. Managed to just pull something out. I was falling behind the 40 pacer for the last 4K and I just didn't think I could get it back, but I might just have sneaked in there. I might just have got under 40. <coughs> I don't know. But for a sub three marathon in eight weeks time, that is borderline performance. So that was hard work and it should be, it should be relatively comfortable if I'm going to do a sub three marathon. So there's work to do, that's for sure. Thank you very Thank much you. indeed. Thank you. you. There we are, the Chichester 10K medal. That was. 10Ks are hard work, they're hard work. How do you get on? 43 and a half. So 43 and a half for Everett. Is that a good time for you? Average. Average. Okay. Not, my best. Not my best. Okay, okay. 38, 58. 38.58, okay, well it's kind of same as me a, a, minute, a minute later then. So not the same as you. Once I'd got myself together, I checked the official race results. Had I done it? Had I managed to steal this from the jaws of defeat? Had I managed to blag a sub 40 minute 10K? Hi then Leslie, how'd you do? That's horrible. It is horrible, isn't it? It is hilarious how we always say that 10Ks are awful. I'm sure the race organisers don't want us to say <laughs> that doing a 10K is awful. Chichester 10K was really, really good. And we enter these things because we enjoy them, really. We just say that we hate them. They're just hard work, aren't they? Did you, did you get under 50 minutes? Under 50. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Matt and me ran together at Brighton 10k and what did you get in Brighton Matt? Um, I got 40 minutes and 50 seconds. 40 minutes and 50 seconds and what did you get today? I got um, 39 minutes and 30 seconds. 39 minutes and 30, fantastic work, well done Matthew. I was trying to hang on to the back of these two, just by 6k I just was falling away but uh, brilliant job by Matt, well done. Dad moment. Yeah. Proud dad pacing Matthew. First on 40. Brilliant. Our winner today in a time of 29 minutes and 52 seconds. Please put your hands together for Matt Leach. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you yeah, it was a really nice course. Um, it was super fun running on the on the circuit here, and yeah, pleased with the, the effort and the win. What were you hoping for coming into the race? Uh, was sub 30 your goal? Uh, yeah, I, I was hoping to get a hard effort, but definitely sub 30 was um, was in my mind, and 
when I hit 9k uh, uh, it was around like 27 I knew I kind of had to push it a bit for the last k but at least I got the sub 30 in the end. It is Hi Cassie, so just under 35 minutes, what is your PB for uh, 10k? Uh, it's 427, so not quite that today, but still happy with the time. How is your preparation coming into the race? Yeah, pretty decent, uh, it's got some good miles in, um, I think I've got easy, easily next, so looking forward to that one as well. So Matt Leach, quality runner, so he has actually gone under 29 on the track. So when he was on the start list, I thought he was going to go close, especially with the conditions. I don't think he's in his tip-top shape, but sub-30 was definitely achievable for him. And then your namesake, Scott Cousins, also running a PB and a club record for his club in second place. Very quickly, Steve, we've got to talk about your sub-40, haven't we? So, I know... Well, what were you expecting from me today, Gav? Um, well, drama. There was a lot of drama. I saw you rolling around at the finish, and I know you struggle to get into top gear these days because most of your stuff is sub-maximal, go for as long as possible. I can't hold the camera still. <laughs> so, did you hit top gear? I think you... I, I, I put absolutely everything into that last Did you put gears you didn't know you had? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Listen, I, I'm very pleased with that today. Yeah, I know that's a big benchmark for you guys and to go back up to 40, so well done on that. Cheers. Thanks, Gav. Awesome. Right, that is it from the Chichester 10K. Official time, 39.55. I am absolutely over the moon with that. That is the best time I could have possibly hoped for, given that I've been ill the past five days, so only just coming back from illness. And I really haven't trained for this, although obviously I am training for a marathon and I am training to get faster. So I'm really pleased with that time. If you would like to watch the last time I attempted a sub 40 10K, uh, then click that link right there. And we'll see you on the start line for the next one next time. Bye bye.